Let's talk some news for a moment. Longtime Texas Senator John Whitmire plans to run for mayor of Houston in 2023. Now, according to our news partner, ABC 13, Whitmire says he'll run for re-election to the Senate next year and then for mayor in November of the following year. He is the first candidate to announce that their intention is to run. Mayor Sylvester Turner is in his second term as Houston's mayor. Well, State Representative Garnett Coleman is joining a growing list of representatives choosing not to seek re-election. The Democrat from Houston announced his retirement yesterday after three decades serving at the State House. Coleman points to the polarizing laws passed this year, including a controversial elections bill, a restrictive abortion law, and a ban on critical race theory. Several Republicans are also stepping down, including House Republican Caucus Chairman Jim Murphy, citing more than just policy concerns. Technically, we have a citizen legislature that's only supposed to meet for 140 days every other year, whereas this year they were in session for almost 10 months. Their businesses and their families uh, miss them, and sometimes, you know, in some cases, it costs them a lot of money uh, because uh, they will lose money in their in their private business. Experts say the loss of institutional knowledge at the legislature could lead to some instability next legislative session, which starts January of 2023. House Democrats are pushing to pass the Build Back Better Act before the end of the weekend, and doing so would be a major victory for President Joe Biden. But Republicans want to put a stop to it at all costs, and Basil John reports on the debate on this bill. We spent less defeating Hitler, Mussolini, and Japan than you're spending tonight. House Republican leader Kevin McCarthy brought the Build Back Better vote to a halt. For more than eight hours, he railed against the president's plan and Democrats for supporting it. You're celebrating it when inflation is at a 31% height. Gas prices, Thanksgiving. Democrats were determined to vote on the nearly $2 trillion social spending plan Thursday night. We're going to change the lives and livelihoods of Americans for generations to come. Massachusetts Congressman Richard Neal and South Carolina Congressman Jim Clyburn say the legislation makes necessary changes. The Build Back Better Act will repair some long-standing faults, many of which have been exasperated by COVID-19. Democrats emphasize the bill reduces the deficit, but the Congressional Budget Office says the bill adds $367 billion to the deficit over 10 years. Enough of the spending in Washington. Let's focus on helping those hardworking families who are being crippled by this inflation. And that was Basil John reporting. We'll have more from him later on in our show. Meanwhile, the bill would still face an uphill battle in the Senate, too. And Democratic leader Chuck Schumer says the Senate would possibly not take up this bill until Christmas.